Shooting rockets near nuclear power plants. Did you have that on your 2022 bingo card? Coming up here on The Job. Hi folks, Alex Klingelhaper here with Exential Wealth Advisors. It is 754 here in the middle part of the country where it is the first Friday of Lent. I hope your fish fry goes very well this weekend. Here's your morning job around the economic headlines of the world for Friday, March 4th. Russian forces have seized the largest nuclear power plant in Ukraine. That is news in and of itself. The really thing to scare the markets over the weekend is there was a fire overnight at the plant. It was in a training building, not in the nuclear reactor, but there were rockets in the area. And folks were firing rockets around nuclear reactors, which generally, again, not a nuclear scientist here, seems like a bad idea. Overall, you know, if the rockets were to hit one of those reactors and nuclear fallout was to spread throughout the region, could be disastrous. Listen, Ukraine, with the war being invaded by Russia, is already sort of getting into their planting season. They are the breadbasket of Europe, and quite frankly, the breadbasket of the Middle East. All of that wheat produced in Ukraine gets flown over the Middle East. That's how they feed their populations. If, for example, a stray rocket was to hit a nuclear reactor and have massive fallout come through the area where food is grown for the vast majority of the world, that would cause wheat prices to spike even more in addition to being a giant humanitarian disaster. My advice, let's keep the rockets away from the nuclear reactors so that, you know, a giant global catastrophe is averted. Just a thought. Maersk not shipping uh, to Belarus, or at least lightening their, their shipping over to Belarus. Of course, Belarus helped Russia invade Ukraine from the north. Thank you, Belarus. Maersk being yet another global logistics company that is staying away from the region. This is only going to increase global supply chain problems. It's only going to increase a terrible amounts of inflation around the world, right? When you talk about needing to reroute ships, be inefficient with where you're moving cargo, that is all going to cause additional economic damage and keep inflation a little bit high. It, it meaningfully really does move my thought right before we had this war my thought we were topping out inflation in january and in february we sort of seeing that high tide mark and going down this new global conflict has completely changed that narrative you have to avoid the the region it's going to cause additional supply chain and logistical nightmares uh, for as long as the war is going on and quite frankly a little bit after last but not least normally this would lead the show if there wasn't a giant war going on Huge BLS number, huge jobs report today. 678,000 new jobs in February. And you remember back when we talked about those numbers last month in December and in January? Hey, we had really good job months. Normally it sort of goes like this. Expect some downward revisions. We got some upward revisions. There were more jobs, about 100,000 more jobs added in January and in December than were originally counted. And that's a really good thing. Now the Labor market is about a 3.8% unemployment rate. Overall, this is a really good economy to be looking for a job. Remember, all of that coronavirus stimulus that we had back in 2021, 2020, is sort of rolling off. The economy is really starting to be self-sustaining. I think it makes a good case for a little bit of a, of a interest rate hike by the Federal Reserve at their next meeting, and then slowly you know, putting a little bit of a kibosh on the economic activity. Quite frankly, things are running a little bit too good. We don't want to overheat everything, especially in a time of soaring inflation. Okay, if you want some additional information throughout the weekend, want to keep up with what's going on, feel free to find me. I'm on the internet, I am out there. Until then, I hope you and your family have a wonderful weekend. I am out.